Hello, welcome to Back to School Night, Lancaster Catholic High School, uh, virtual edition for 2020. And this video is intended for honors pre calculus parents. Um, glad you're uh, able to watch the video here. I'm going to talk a little bit about myself, some uh, expectations I have of the students, how we're handling the remote learners, uh, what we cover in the course. So that's my main objective, what I expect from the students here or remote. Um, so I have a little slide presentation I'm going to share with you. So I'm going to share my screens, typically what I do with the students so they can see everything and I'm not moving the camera around a whole lot. So you should be able to see the PowerPoint slide presentation I have here. I'll well, give you a little bit of background where I come from and where I am. Uh, my background is in nuclear physics. I have a bachelor's from Virginia Tech a long time ago. And then uh, when I was in the Air Force for eight years, they sent me to graduate school for a year and a half. That was my full-time job. I uh, got my master's there, but out of the Air Force, and uh, we were promoting coming out of the military, going into teaching. I didn't do it right away, but eventually I ended up here. Got my teaching certificate from Millersville in Alvernia, ended up most of that work was in Alvernia. And this is hard to believe that you're 20 for me teaching at Catholic High. And I've been Matt department chair for six years. Other things that I do here, I'm the senior class moderator along with. My wife, Mrs. Sharp, in the office. This is our third year of doing that. I coach the bowling team, varsity bowling team, open the ladies and gentlemen, and it is a varsity sport. We get letters for that, and we have a lot of fun, and we're always competitive. And then my last commercial, I run the Civitas Club. It used to be their team club through the Sotoma Club. They changed their name to Civitas, and we uh, went along with them and changed our name. And we do some things that you'll see advertised. We do a coat drive uh, around Christmas time in conjunction with WGAL's Coats for Kids. We have a continual magazine collection program as a thing by the main office that they can bring in magazines and drop them off. They're always in my room. I put boxes to drop off magazines. And we donate those to the Ronald the Bell House. They sell them for recycling and get money from that. Uh, we do a breakfast at the Ronald the Bell House. So, uh, Busy, pretty busy club. We help clean up the Lawrence Park in the spring, have a day out of school and go. We hope it's a, a nice spring day to go and clean up Lawrence Park because uh, our parent club is a club. That's uh, one of their things that they do. Okay, as far as pre calculus, I expect them to be prepared for class, whether they're here or remote, they need to be on time, bring a charged Chromebook. I pull up websites all the time to show them the other examples besides my notes examples to even to look up uh, some actual notes from a website, maybe a video here and there that I'll pull up and have them watch probably more this year because of the remote learners. I might show more videos. Uh, they need to bring a cramping calculator, a Texas Instruments 83, 83 plus. 84, 84 plus is mostly what you're going to see in stores now. They have the 84 plus color edition. It, it's nicer. And I think it's about 20, 25 dollars more for the color edition, but it is a nice machine. That would have pretty much the same, other than graphic and color. Uh, same as an 84 plus. So the need graphic calculator that's required for the course, we're using that already. We use that for day two. We start using that. Uh, hopefully they understand how to use a little bit, if not, I teach them, but it's nice that they understand a little bit about the calculator, that they're not learning that in the more difficult pre calc material at the same time. Uh, other than being reinforced their, their notebook, uh, they're doing homework every night, and they'll check the homework. They do a homework assessment, as you'll see when I get to grading. We'll talk more about that. So they're not submitting pictures of their homework like my other classes. 
uh, and just hopefully keep it up with their homework. You might want to remind them now that the pre comp homework coming and keeping up with it because they have to have it done for the homework assessment. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Our algorithms and Irish class are typically their own problems with behavior. Uh, uniform, wear the mask this year. It's amazing how well they've done that, uh, better than I would have ever expected. Keeping masks on, I do give them a break. Uh, I do. I alternate rows, so the odd rows get a five minute break, then the even rows get a five minute break. So we're up to middle class. Uh, no group work. I do a lot of whiteboard group work this year. It's going to be in pairs. Just they're always working with the same person for the first semester, just to limit their contact with others. I note on here that it is difficult material. Some of them are fine with it, but many of them will struggle. Early on, getting used to the material. Uh, it's even in chapter one, we're doing algebra two review right now. A lot of them, you know, with the way the end, year ended last year, need a little extra algebra two review. So we're doing that. We'll test on that later this week. Uh, they have a homework assessment on this week. Uh, so we'll see the types of assessments that I give them. And I'll see if they're prepared to do the rest of the course. So uh, they need to do the work. They need to practice it, so you should see them doing homework at home. Now, we'll do assessments, tests. Every chapter has at least one test. I do the homework assessments. Uh, I give them a paper. The first one has 12 boxes. I already told them that. Uh, and it'll say, okay, chapter P, section one, what do you have for problem 19? Obviously, it's open notes, open homework, but not open book, and they cannot use a calculator. They have to have the work done coming in, but I tell them anytime they have a question when I go over the homework, um, you ask me and I'll put it on the board and show you my work. So they have the opportunity to fill in any blanks before we get to the homework assessment. Uh, later in the year, sometimes so for some units, there will be a hand in of different problems, and that usually replaces the homework assessment. So I hate to tell them that early on, and, oh, I don't put in my homework. Well, if you don't do your homework, that means test grades are going to drop, and maybe the ending grade isn't so good. So they still need to do the homework even when there's no homework assessment. And then we'll do a couple projects throughout the year. So that's where they get their grades. Well, they get their grade. Uh, again, I told you we're, we're doing the algebra review in chapter P. Then we get into expansions of algebra two things, higher degree polynomials. Stuff like that, power functions, exponentials, they should touch on in algebra two, logarithms, probably not. So we do logarithmic functions. And we do a lot of the same analysis of these different functions. The nice thing about pre-calc is it's where you get to apply all that math you learned in algebra two and some geometry. Geometry is more applicable once you get to the trigonometry unit. Uh, that's usually covers most of the third quarter, the trigonometry unit. So they're going to use the functions that we do to model real world data. I mean, a lot of people saw when they were given coronavirus updates daily, uh, the slides and flattening the curve. And those are the kinds of things we talk about in this course. How to create a model for the data, what's the future projection, uh, you need to change the model because it's not working. So very applicable to the real world. And a lot of graphing calculator work, they need to be comfortable with that. Right. And then finally, is my contact information. If you have any questions for me, feel free to send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. If I see somebody's work uh, dropping, I will let you know that you know, for some reason the performance is dropping. We need to see what we can do to fix it, get it back on track. We will do that. So far, so good with the remote learners. We haven't assessed yet, but uh, we'll figure that out. Those that are out of the country watching it on video, it'll be a challenge to figure out how to do tests there, but uh, I'm working with somebody tomorrow to try to figure that out. So thank you for coming back to school night. Again, if you have any questions, there's my contact information. Be sharp. At lchsds.org, and uh, I'll be happy to talk to you about my opinion. All right, thanks again.
have a good night.